thanks for having me. Hi, Carol. Thanks for coming. Come on in. Welcome to C Tower Liquidation. Today we'll be showing you how we can take your everyday object and turn it into a cube that will last forever. Now there are three stages of production that occur in this process. First stage is dematerialization. That sounds great. Carol, this is Zan. Hey Carol. Hey Zan. Carol, okay, well, Zan's going to show you what happens in the dematerialization room. I'll give you a, a quick run through right now, alright? Uh, I'm just going to check to see what that was. It's probably nothing. You guys carry on and uh, I'll be right back. Anyways, here's what we do in the dematerialization room. We take your nostalgic object, something like this house key, and we turn it into finely particulated matter such as these key filings right here. Uh, we do this so that it can easily fit into a cube which is easily compartmentalized and archived for you. Is there anything you can't dematerialize? Well, Carol, we do anything and everything, and we've got a variety of tools here just for that matter. We've got a food processor, a paper shredder, a deep fryer, a hammer, scissors, even a saw. And for particularly troublesome items such as this wrench, we bust out the old metal grinder. Quite some time, so you might want to go see what the master's doing in the molding area. Yeah. So you want to cut it? Just cut it right now. Don't cut it off. Just slice it so that it can. Yeah. Be. Hey, man. How's it going? Is this okay? No, it's okay. okay. Hey Carol, uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> well, uh, things are good here. Uh, it's important um, when you're in the workplace to remain safe at all times. Wear protection, make sure you work with a buddy. Uh, it, this is a very dangerous procedure, so anytime you think there might be uh, harmful substances, make sure you read the labels, you know. But now that Sebastian's okay, uh, we can get to work, and he's going to show you what happens in the molding area. How are you doing there, Carol? Awesome. Okay, my name is Sebastian, and now I'm going to take you on a, uh, a brief little demo on how we mold a cube. So if you want to do this at home, you're going to need a protective mask. You need a nice clean bucket, some sticks, uh, a little day cloth here. And very important, you're going to need some protective gloves. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw on my gloves here. You're going to take your ground up material, your uh, house key, and you're going to place it inside your mold. You're going to take the top of your mold, you're going to place it right on top, just like that. And so you take some rubber bands and you're going to wrap the rubber bands right around there, right? And then we're going to put it in a very secure dish. We're going to take another very important, uh, important liquid here is the hardener. What you want to do is you want to pour the right amount of hardener into your resin. Yeah, I usually do about a capful, 400 milliliters of resin. So you just pour it in, and we're just going to mix it around. Mix it right in, mix it for a good 2-3 minutes. And you're going to pour it in. Let's do a bit of a demonstration here, I won't do it all, but... We're going to start moving it around inside, right? You're going to move it around to the front, to the back, so it coats all the sides, right? And what I like to do to get a lot of the Almost there. Just tap it. Yep. Tap it on the side. Get a little tap, tap. There. Once you've filled it all the way to the top, you give it a couple more taps, then you just let it sit for about four hours. And uh, and so right now we're just gonna wait for a while, and I think it's lunchtime, right, Charlie? It's lunchtime, guys. Come on in.
Okay, guys, lunch break's over. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Hey, Carol. You caught me just in time to see me finish this cube. What's in this cube? Do you know the band Pulp? Yeah, they've got some great jams. They sure do have some great jams, and that's why we want to make them last forever. So, the first step to finishing your cube is sand it. Here at Sea and Tower Liquidation, we use six different grades of sandpaper. That's right, we use 60, 80, 120, 400, 600, and 800. And right now, we're on step 800. Okay, here we go. There we go. Feel that, Carol. Oh, wow. Smooth as your dad's head, eh? Okay. Next step is buffing. And to get a nice, smooth finish, we use compound turtle wax. That's right. So we take a bit of this, glob it onto the cube, lube it up real nice. Here we go. Feel that? Oh wow. That is smooth. Sure is smooth. And the final step, Carol, Murray's Super Light Hair Wax. Good for hair, good for cubes. Rub a bit on the surface there. And one last time. That's amazing. Wow. Sure is. And there you have it. Ready to be sent off to the showroom. Hey Carol, welcome to the showroom. Wow, this is great. Well, this is where we display all our cubes, from small to medium to large. Wow, you guys really can cube everything. We sure can, Carol. And next time you come over, we'll make you a cube of your very own on the house. And don't forget guys, we've got one last thing to show Carol. We hope you enjoyed the tour. I sure did, and I know I'll never look at cubes the same way again. Bye, Carol. Have a good one. <laughs>